Once again, it's important to remember that i works just like variables. This means you treat it just as if it were an x or a y. And the other thing to remember is that i squared is the same as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1, which is equal to negative 1. Let's try example 1. We have a negative 3i times 6i. When we multiply the values or numbers together, we get negative 3 times 6, which is negative 18. When we multiply those together, we just got a number. When we multiply i's together, we'll get i squared. i squared, remember, is an actual value, and we can rewrite it with that actual value in place of the i squared. From here, we simply multiply the negative 18 times the negative 1. This gives us a positive 18, and this is as far as we must go. In example 2, we have a binomial that's being multiplied by some factors out front. We'll go ahead and distribute those factors to each term inside parentheses. This will give us 10i minus 4i squared. From here, we can't do anything with the i. Since it's the square root of a negative 1, we'll just leave it as i because it looks way better and we don't want to worry about radicals right now. With the negative 4i squared, however, we know that i squared is an actual number. So, we can rewrite this as 10i minus 4 times a negative 1. From here, let's go ahead and simplify it further by multiplying negative 4 times negative 1. This will give us a positive 4. This is as far as I can simplify this expression. Let's try two more examples. In example 3, we have a binomial times a binomial. We can simply FOIL it like we've been doing all along. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times negative 5i is negative 20i. Negative 3i times 2 is negative 6i. And negative 3i times negative 5i is positive 15i squared. We can combine like terms, and we now have 8 minus 26i plus 15i squared. From here, we know that i squared is negative 1. Let's go ahead and fill in all the other pieces and simplify this further. From here, we know that positive 15 times negative 1 will give us a negative 15. 8 minus 26i minus 15 can still be simplified because negative 15 and 8 are like terms. From here, we can add 8 and negative 15 together. Now we'll have negative 7 minus 26i. This cannot be simplified any further, and that's my simplified expression. In example 4, we have something to the second power. It's a binomial that is squared. As you may recall, these have a very specific pattern. We can square the first term, 
we can double the product of the two terms. And we square the last term. From here, we can simplify further. 9 plus 12i plus 4 times negative 1, because remember, i squared is negative 1. And once again, that will give us negative 4. 9 and negative 4 are like terms. So let's add them together. This will give us 5 plus 12i. This is as simplified as we can make that expression.